Have you ever wondered if there is a natural way to calm your anxiety? In the next few minutes, I'm going to reveal two simple amino acids that might be just key to unlocking a more peaceful mind. Welcome back everyone, I am Lucy and I'm here to keep Leo's research and memory alive while educating people and helping them living better lives. In this episode, we are going to explore Leo's research on two fascinating amino acids, glycine and taurine, and their role in managing anxiety. But first, I have a small request. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, give us a thumbs up to help us navigate the YouTube algorithm and keep shedding lights on Leo's research. Anxiety is more than just a feeling. It's a complex interplay of biochemical reaction in our brain. In this integrated dance of molecules, amino acids like beta-anilin and taurine play pivotal roles. Beta-anilin, in particular, is very intriguing for its anxiolytic properties, acting as calming agent, while taurine brings its antidepressant quality to the table. And for anyone grappling with anxiety, whether it's a constant companion or just a visitor during social situation, like with me, uh, this video could be a game changer for you. Today, I will unveil why glycine and taurine might deserve a spot in your wellness toolkit. Let's delve a bit deeper. Beta-anilin doesn't just play a role in muscle endurance, it also competes with taurine for transports, showcasing its anxiolytic effects. On the flip side, taurine, known for its mood-lifting properties, offers a counterbalance. This fascinating interplay was highlighted in a study by Murakami, where the dietary supplementation of these two amino acids led to notable behavior and neurochemical changes in mice, revealing that they're antidepressant and anxiolytic. Moreover, amino acids like alanine and serine are not just bystanders. They actively engage as agonists at glycine receptor, adding another layer to this complex biochemical narrative. Another study suggesting that these amino acids, particularly serine in one of its form, can be as potent, if not more, than glycine in co-agonizing NMDA receptors which plays a crucial role in neuroplasticity and memory function. So this opens up a whole new avenue in understanding and potentially managing anxiety at its molecular roots. So let's get into the world of amino acid, those tiny architects of life. Imagine we have over 900 different types, each with a unique role. And yet, in the ground tapestry of our DNA, only a select 2% are the master builder, directly involved in constructing proteins. These are the proteinogenic amino acids, they're the key players of life complex symphony. But let's zoom in on one of the simplest yet most intricate of them, glycine. It's like the minimalist of the amino acid world. Small, simple, but incredible impactful. Glycine with its low molecular weight might seem unassuming, yet it plays a crucial role in numerous biological processes. It's a bit like finding a simple key that unlocks multiple doors in the human body. Like mentioned, glycine is a real multitasker in the biological realm. It's not just an ordinary antioxidant. Glycine is like a molecular superhero that's combating oxidative stress with fineness. But glycine talents don't just stop here. It's a master of disruption, interrupting the nefarious signaling of an advanced glycination end product, known as AGEs. Those sneaky molecules can accelerate aging and cause various chronic diseases. Picture glycine as a tiny but mighty guardian, safeguarding our cells in multiple ways. It boosts the activity of glycine transporter 1, which is like flipping a switch to ramp up the production of glutathione, our body own super antioxidant. This action is actually crucial, especially in protecting delicate structure like the ill sets of our pancreas which are vitals for insulin regulation, for example. But glycine versatility extends even into the realm of addiction. In studies with alcoholic rodents, glycine showed its potential to ease the harsh journey of alcohol withdrawals. It seems to soothe the brain craving signals, reducing the urge of drinking. This finding opened up uh, fascinating possibilities for treating addictions in humans, Glycine suppresses age and rage signaling pathway in the subsequent oxidative stress by restoring GLO-1 function in the orta of diabetic rats and in the hovic. As we dive deeper into the biochemical C, we encounter NMDA receptors, a complex and crucial component of our brain neural network. Here, glycine and serine, often tucked away in our muscles, emerge as key players. So these amino acids have been shown to amplify the effects of ketamine, particularly in combating depression. 
that stems from inflammation, at least in the animal kingdom. It's like they give ketamine an extra boost, enhancing uh, its ability to lift the fog of depression in these models. But as we all think in the realm of biology, there is a twist. So glycine, despite its many benefits, also has a knack for upregulating NMDA receptors activity. Now this might sound great, but there is a catch. It can lead to neuroinflammation, a kind of internal brain battle that we'd rather avoid. So to counterbalance this effect, we might consider pairing glycine with uprazine A. Uprazine A is a compound known for its ability to dance delicately with those receptors, providing the benefits without the unwanted neuroinflammatory effect. This balancing act between glycine and uprazine A really illustrates the intricate symphony of our brain chemistry. It's a reminder of how even the smallest molecule can play significant roles in our mental health and well-being, influencing everything from our mood to our cognitive ability. But let's turn our attention to taurine, a name derived from taurus, the Latin word of bull. This connection to the mighty bull isn't just for show. Taurine, much like its namesake, is robust and vital, representing the most abundant free amino acids within the labyrinths of our brain. It's a natural component of our biological makeup, synthesized internally from amino acids cysteine and methionine with a little help from vitamin B6. But here's where it gets interesting. So despite being produced in our body, there are times when we might need more than what our internal factory can supply. This is particularly true for infants, making taurine a conditionally essential amino acid in the early development phase. But taurine is just about quantity. It's about its multifaceted roles in our health. This amino acid is a bit of a biological superhero, having antioxidants and anti-inflammatory powers. So it's like the cellular guardian protecting our cells from the ravages of oxidative stress and inflammation. Imagine it as a microscopic shield safeguarding our neurons and ensuring their optimal function. Now, for those who are grappling with the shadows of anxiety, taurine offers a beacon of hope. So it acts as an anxiolytic, calming the stormy seas of anxiety via its interaction with the glycine receptor. And for those seeking immediate relief, taurine steps up to the challenge. It can be administered intranasally offering a rapid response to soothe the anxious mind. Now, let's zoom into a key player in this biochemical symphony, the glycine receptor. This receptor is like a finely tuned instrument, fully activated by glycine and partially by taurine and GABA. So it's not just a passive component, it's a dynamic force in our neural pathways, influencing how we perceive pain and anxiety. Imagine it as a gatekeeper in our complex network of our nervous system, modulating signal and maintaining the delicate balance needed for optimal function. The role of the glycine receptor extends beyond the brain, playing a vital part in our spine. This is where the story gets particularly intriguing for those suffering from chronic back pain. Scientists are exploring the potential of glycine receptor modulator and glycine transporter inhibitor as new avenue for back pain relief. These innovative approaches could revolutionize how we manage chronic pain offering hope where traditional methods fall short. There is more, even THC knows as a pain relieving properties, my own is effectiveness on how it interacts with the glycine receptor. This connection opens up new possibility for understanding and treating peripheral pain. However, in the realms of biochemistry, there's always a balance to be maintained. So while glycine is a powerhouse of benefits, it's important to tread carefully. In certain type of cancer, glycine may inadvertently play a role in cancer cells proliferation. So as we journey through the intricate world of amino acids and their impact on our well-being, let's talk about a practical protocol for those considering glycine and taurine supplementation to relieve anxiety. Remember, this is just a guideline. I'm not a medical doctor. This is not medical advice and you should not replace professional medical advice. So the starting dose, begin with a low dose to assess tolerance. For glycine, start with around one gram per day. For taurine, we talk about 500 milligrams a day. That's a good starting point. If you tolerate this well, you can gradually increase the dose. A common therapeutic dose for glycine can range up to five grams per day. And for taurine, a dose between two to three grams per day are often used. Glycine is best taken at night due to its calming and sleep promoting effects. And taurine can be taken in divided dose throughout the day. Make sure you pay attention to how your body responds. If you experience any adverse uh, side effects, reduce the dosage or discontinue the use completely. And 
consider taking this supplement for a trial period of at least four to six weeks to evaluate their effectiveness. So while exploring the benefits of glycine and taurine, it's crucial to consider their broader impact in our brain's health. Glycine particularly can upregulate NMDA receptors activity, potentially leading to neuroinflammation. To counteract this, we introduce a unique ally, Uprazine A. So let's talk about it a little bit. Uprazine A is extracted from the Chinese cob moss. It stands out for its neuroprotective capabilities. It's not just about enhancing cognitive function by inhibiting acid acetinocholine esterase. It's also about its crucial role in mitigating the potential inflammatory effect that glycine might have on NMDA receptors. We recommend starting with a dose of 50 to 100 micrograms daily. It's always wise to start with a low dose to gauge how your body reacts. To leverage the cognitive benefits without hampering your sleep, it's better to take Uprazine in the morning or early afternoon. With Uprazine, you want to adopt a cyclical approach, so perhaps uh, two to four weeks on, followed by a pause. Keep an eye out on reaction like nausea, sleep disturbance, and adjust your intakes accordingly. So to ensure a well-rounded regimen and address any potential side effects, you should consider these supplements with your regimen. We talk about omega-3 fatty acids. These are the cornerstone of our brain's health and may enhance the benefits of amino acids. You should also consider magnesium. So this is a mineral known for its soothing properties. It works in tandem with glycine and taurine, potentially amplifying their anxiety-alleviating effects. We also have vitamin B6, a lichpin in amino acid metabolism, B6 is essential for maximizing the efficacy of glycine and taurine. So as we conclude, remember that the journey to wellness is deeply personal and multifaceted. Glycine and taurine offer promising avenues for managing anxiety and enhancing well-being but they're just pieces of a larger puzzle. And before we wrap up, it's crucial to underscore that when it comes to managing anxiety, lifestyle changes are often the first and most important step. We can not ignore the profound impact of daily habits such as regular exercise, adequate sleep, mindfulness practices, on our mental health. These fundamental elements can significantly influence our brain's chemistry and overall well-being. If you're interested in a more detailed lifestyle protocol tailored to enhancing mental health and managing anxiety, I'd love to hear from you. Drop a comment below to let me know if this is something you would like to see in the future. In the spirit of Leo's legacy, let's continue to explore, learn, and support each other in our quest for health and happiness. Together we can build a community grounded in knowledge, empathy, and wellness. As always, you will find Leo's notes on the description below. And until next time, stay curious and stay well.